What is going on guys? This is Earpugs, and this is my fourth episode of the How to Counter series for 2v2 Arena. In this video, we are going to be covering one of the most infamous comps in all of Wrath of the Lich King. We are of course talking about Rogue Mage. What makes this comp strong is that it has a huge amount of burst, lots of CC, and the ability to swap and kill targets almost instantly. The weaknesses of this comp is that both the Rogue and the Mage are very squishy and fairly easy to kill, they also need a good opener in order to be effective, and could fall apart rather quickly if they aren't able to reset. The main way that this comp lands kills is by sapping or polymorphing one target and then stunning and killing the other one with a bunch of damage. There are two major CCs that Rogue Mage has that you need to be aware of. The first is Polymorph. This is their bread and butter ability that they will use to control a target since they have so many ways to guarantee it. From blanket silencing into a polymorph, or using deep freeze into a polymorph, or even cheap shotting into a polymorph. Be aware that in order for this comp to work, the mage needs to be free casting damage. So in order to make that happen, they are always going to be looking at who they can polymorph or sap, as well as who they can stun and kill. The second most important CC to be aware of is blind. This is Rogue Mage's most important CC in their entire toolkit because it lasts for 10 seconds and doesn't share a DR with any abilities that they have. This means that if you get blinded, it is highly likely that they are going to be sapping or polymorphing you off of it, which will lock you out of the game for 20 seconds. A common strategy for them is to force a trinket with stuns and then blind that target, guaranteeing the 20 seconds of CC. Here is an example clip where they stun my rogue and polymorph me, forcing my rogue to trinket, which allows them to blind him into a full sap out of it. Be very careful of what you trinket if they still have blind up, because you trinketing in many scenarios simply means that you are now blinded. I am now going to play an example clip of us as Disc Priest Rogue versus Rogue Mage. One thing that is very important to understand about this comp is that the mage needs to be free casting in tandem with the rogue stunning. If both of those things aren't happening, then the odds of them landing a kill is very low. Rumpa? Yeah. I'm gonna open mage near the mid bird. Sure. Mage me. This is a standard rogue mage opener. They sap one target, dispel it so they do more damage, and then send a bunch of damage into me. You'll notice my rogue eroded their mage to stop the damage, and their rogue instantly blinded him and vanished. While my rogue could trinket this, it's extremely important to understand that rogue mage will not kill me until the rogue comes out of stealth. So my rogue has no incentive to trinket until their rogue is actually on top of me and doing damage. Yeah, I see. I just said that. He has no blind after this, so I can like go over. Black it on me? No yeah. CS now? As you can see, the mage used counter spell into deep freeze on me, and at the same time, they sapped my rogue. Since the mage committed two very big cooldowns, and my rogue is still CC'd, they are now going to try and kill me. The second that their rogue opens on me, my rogue will instantly have to trinket to stop their rogue's damage, or else my death is guaranteed. He's gonna all in me here. I PS'd the, I PS'd all in. Nice. Him? Yep. I'll get you late. They break poly on me. One of the most important cooldowns for a rogue is Cloak of Shadows. This makes them 90% immune to spells and poisons for 5 seconds. Once a rogue uses this, getting any kind of a magical dot on them will make it so that they are unable to go back into stealth and hide, since the damage will break them out of stealth. This is an extremely important cooldown to track if you have any form of magical damage. I did, I did, I did. I I'm in trouble, okay? Yeah. I'm dead with this. No. Since this rogue has no trinket and no cloak of shadows, they will be sitting a full fear. If I am able to fear this rogue and get dots up on them, the game should be over. Nice fear though. I might this. I can blind, uh, blind me, uh, mage full here. Blind me. Dotted gets. rogue? Sure. Double dotted rogue, getting you? Sure. Uh, on me. Rogue's double dotted, okay? Yeah, I run, I run, I run. Nice, nice, nice. I kill the rogue. 
The last extremely important cooldown to be aware of is Shadow Dance. This allows the rogue to use any stealth ability while not actually in stealth for 8 seconds on a 1 minute cooldown. The reason that this is scary is because it lets them spam their highest damage ability which is Ambush. Almost all of Rogue Mage's kills revolve around this, so make sure that you are tracking it. Liking the video helps me out immensely. This is my fourth episode of the How to Counter series for Wrath Arena. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next as far as content. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.